Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm gonna try to get the winch on the uh, Jeep. I think I told you guys in the last video what happened to the last winch. I have gotten the new winch from uh, Four Wheel Parts. It's sitting right here on the bench. And uh, we're gonna get the old bumper off. And um, I'm gonna show you a few things about this bumper that I really like and a couple of things that I'm kind of questioning. Um, ARB traditionally has made a fantastic product. However, uh, there's a few things on this that I'm not really sure about. I think it's going to be okay. So we'll uh, get the bumper off and I'll show you the things that I like and the things I don't like. And then we're going to try to get the winch on. I'll show you how that works. And uh, we'll go from there. So let's get started. So guys, here's the bumper on the Jeep currently. Uh, you'll notice that there's no winch in the winch plate or in the bumper. Uh, it does have these big, massive uh, recovery points that I do really like. That's one of my favorite features of the bumper. Uh, they're massive. They're rated at about 16,000 pounds working load. Um, I really, really like them. They're beefy. They're uh, powder-coated red to kind of match the red accents of the Rubicons. I uh, really like that. Uh, the fog lights, the way they install, they look really good. They fit nice. Uh, the cutout in the bumper for the fog lights is just big enough, and there is a little bit of room for adjustment. I'm going to replace these with some aftermarket fog lights eventually, and I think there'll be a little bit more adjustment even than there is currently. The bash plate is down here and is pretty beefy. Uh, it is a pressed piece or a stamped piece that's been put through a forming break as well up on the edge. Uh, it's folded over. The one thing I wasn't sure about that I'm kind of questioning ARB on is the way that the bash plate comes down, but it, it doesn't, you'll note, contact the uh, the frame there. It seems like they could have made a bracket that would have come across from these pre-threaded holes in the frame for the skid plate uh, from the factory and uh, it, it could have somehow tied into here and made this a little stronger. I'm guessing this is for crash attenuation somehow. These uh, ARB bumpers are designed to be compatible with airbags and meet crash safety standards and apparently go through some testing. So that may have something to do with that. However, that bash plate looks like it's plenty strong and I don't think there'll be any problems. So we're gonna go ahead and start getting it off now and uh, working on uh, getting the bumper off so we can get the winch on and I'll show you how that works. So I've got the bumper off. Um, I'll show you that here in just a second. And then I'm gonna show you a couple things that have happened to the bumper while I was installing it, some blemishes in the finish that I'm a little disappointed in. So this is just the winch plate on. It is a little dirty. Just I'm going to clean that off with just a wet crop, uh, cloth because we had it out in the wash tiles without the winch in. But the winch plate is really awesome. It hooks on to the uh, frame here on these horns to hold it in place. And then you secure it with a bolt here and here into the frame. So it's, it's pretty strong that way. And then the flange comes all the way over the flange on the uh, frame. And then you're going to bolt that to the bumper and that's going to be really your strength. So this thing's pretty strong. Um, I have no doubt about the working load that ARB specs on the uh, recovery points. Now what's really interesting is this gusseting. And I don't know how well you can see that under there, but there's all this just gusseting underneath this. Uh, winch plate that is just ridiculous. Um, again, it's kind of dirty under there. I apologize. I should have cleaned it. Uh, you can really get an idea for that gusseting. This thing is really, really thick. It's got gusseting all over and uh, should be a very strong, strong winch plate. Shouldn't have any problems with warpage, breakage, damage to the winch, anything like that. I do really like that design a lot. Um, what I'm not really a fan of is some of the finish on the bumper. Um, as you can see here, there's some just the corners where it's it's banged against a wrench or just getting it on and off the Jeep, trying to maneuver it. And it's kind of marred the finish over here on these corners, on both corners where the, uh, the uh, bash plate bolts onto, marred up a little bit. There's a little bit more over here where rocks have hit this already. Just had it out on a couple gravel roads. So I'm gonna have to really watch that and probably touch this up with some uh, flat black kind of matte finish spray paint just to keep it from rusting. But um, very disappointed in the finish overall. Uh, the ARB products I've had in the past have been bulletproof. The finish has been impeccable and has been extremely durable. Hopefully the rest of this finish will be durable and it's not gonna really get marred up or messed up, but 
these little these little nicks just from rocks and stuff really do kind of annoy me. That didn't happen on the previous ARB products I've owned. Um, the other thing, the instructions are a little bit vague on the best way to route the uh, fog light wiring. I just got it routed down there. I think it's going to end up sitting between the uh, winch plate and the bumper well out of the way of the winch rope as the bumper comes well below that winch plate. I think that's going to be a safe place. I'm going to secure it with a couple of zip ties on either side and uh, probably some zip ties over there at the fog light itself and over here on the uh, passenger side fog light as well. And then uh, there's a harness actually that it clips onto on the frame to support it the rest of the way. Uh, but other than that, this bumper is built exceptionally well. Okay, so I've got the bumper partially on. This thing barely clears this winch here and here, and it's already marred up the plastic cover on the winch a little bit. You can kind of see it around the free spool handle. Now, the good news is the free spool handle's going to... Uh, why doesn't that... There it goes. Didn't want to engage, but there it goes. It engages. So, yeah, I'm not going to have any trouble with clearance on that like Wes does on his. And I think when this thing's all bolted up, it's going to fit, but just barely. It's going to be super snug. And see how much we've marred up the finish? Just trying to get this thing on. And the finish sucks. I'm going to have to really touch that up and get it looking good so it doesn't rust. Um, the good news is it's just around some of the edges. Most of the finish seems to be in really good shape and really high quality. It's just a couple places that it's kind of messed up. So... Kind of disappointed in the ARB. The little previous products I had have been just completely bulletproof, bombproof, indestructible, and this one seems a little fragile comparatively. So, but I still like it overall. We're gonna we're gonna use it. The uh, I like the way the black Smitty built uh, flare lead looks in relation to the rest of the bumper. The way the winch is gonna look sitting in there. I think all of this is gonna turn out to be really nice. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and get it buttoned up, and I'll show you the finished product. So that about wraps it up for the install. Uh, I didn't show it, but I went ahead and spooled the winch cable earlier. Um, we were able to do that uh, in the front yard. You always want to spool it under a little bit of load. So I've got a little bit of an incline in the front yard, use a tree trunk protector and just basically winch the Jeep up the heel to put a little bit of load on the cable. Um, don't ever want to winch them without any load on them. Uh, it can allow the, the rope to kind of uh, bind on itself some when it does become under load later. Um, so, a couple questions that I was trying to answer. Uh, would I buy this again? The answer is yes. I do like this bumper a lot. I really like ARB products. They're quality. Uh, they're, they, they are made very well. They tend to hold up really well. The ones I've had in the past, I have run over trees, hit things with, and they just keep going. They just don't get hurt. Um, this one appears to be no different. It's made very well. Uh, the toe points are very, very well made. Uh, they're smooth on the edges such that you could use a soft shackle or a bow shackle with them, whichever you prefer. I'm trying to make the transition from bow shackles over to soft shackles for safety reasons, so that's a real bonus for me. There are high lift jack points on the front as well, cut out in the bash plate. I don't really care for high lift jacks because they are a little bit dangerous, but sometimes that's the only thing that'll work and it's nice to have two uh, really well-made jack points that are pretty secure to be able to jack from if you had to. Uh, I love the way the winch is integrated into the bumper. I like that the winch is tucked down low and doesn't obstruct the entire grill like uh, some other bumper products out there. I like that it's protected uh, by the bumper itself since it sits inside of the bumper such that you know debris, water, even a rock or something can't really hit your winch or damage it or even if God forbid you hit a deer or something. Um, the winch is going to be pretty protected and I think the bumper even would take a hit from that pretty well. I do like the bash plate that it is uh, a different color. Um, it's kind of a silver gray color and contrasts well um, and uh, seems to be made pretty well. I think it'll take a hit with no problem. Again, I think this bumper is more than capable of withstanding any kind of abuse that I'm ever going to put it through. Um, an addition uh, was the Factory 55 Link. I do like these. Um, I think the Pro Links just make winching a little bit safer when you do have to winch. It's a good secure way to uh, link your winch to a recovery point or, or uh, you know, another vehicle or anything like that. A um, couple things that I've already mentioned that I wasn't really sure about but I think are going to be okay. The finish is a little bit marred up still. I haven't had time to come back and repaint that. 
it's a few very small places and it appears to be superficial it's really not as bad as i probably made it sound earlier um and and i'm pretty sure that was just me manipulating it and bumping it with with a ratchet and a wrench trying to get the bolts tight um and i think it was mostly operator error uh the exception is it was a couple chips on the back side that were from rocks um, i didn't do anything out there except drive this thing um, and that's a little concerning but not unexpected completely and i can just touch that up again i mentioned earlier that this bash plate the mount for it doesn't really seem to uh have a bracket to bolt it back in and tie it into the frame uh, where the factory skid plate bolts in at the factory location it just kind of floats down there again i don't think that's a problem i think that's probably for some kind of crash attenuation that arb is engineered in and uh, the bash plate still is going to be plenty strong enough to withstand any kind of abuse that I throw at it. So, um, really like this bumper. I do like the way the wings um, come up and expose more of the front tire such that you can kind of get on an obstacle if you need to from a little bit of an angle. It gives you a little bit of a kind of a kind of an approach angle, but not really because the, you know, the, the approach angle is really figured from the lowest point out here but it, it does allow you to kind of come at something from a little bit of an angle and hop up on it if you wanted to so it gives you some versatility there um, again very happy with the product uh, would highly recommend these are a little bit expensive but i think they're worth it um, again when pricing a bumper kind of make sure you look at all the options these are very complete they come with everything you need um, and uh, there's no additional accessory kits or anything like that. I know some of the other bumpers out there I looked at did appear to be a little bit cheaper, but by the time I added on the skid plate and other brackets and things that I needed to make it a complete product, it ended up costing about the same amount. So um, can't say enough good about this bumper and this product. And uh, ARB is a company. They've been around since the 70s, uh, and they make just phenomenal gear. Uh, you really can't go wrong. So... That's going to close out the video today. Uh, I hope to get this thing out on the trail and start to get to use it a little bit more. Uh, we've spent a lot of time in the shop in the last several weeks trying to get it ready to go out on the trail and gotten to take it out just a little bit. Um, so as weather and time with my full-time job allows, we're going to get out there and show you guys that in the future. If you like this, please uh, like and subscribe to our channel. It helps us out a lot. And uh, that's going to be it. I'm Landon, and this is Order of the Traveling Hats, and we hope to see you out there.